Hi, my name's G, I'm a holistic health coach, and today we're going to look at how we can master the mind simply through the breath. So many of us have experienced the symptoms of stress on the body and mind. Some of the symptoms include anxiety, fatigue, low mood, breathlessness, just a chatty mind. So what I'm gonna to do today is really introduce you to a powerful breathing technique. And we're gonna take a much deeper dive. So I've been using this breathing technique for many years and it's served my well-being mentally, physically, emotionally. So the technique I'm gonna introduce is the Ujjayi breath or ocean breath, or better known as Darth Vader, simply because of the sound effects it produces. There are four stages, so let's begin. Stage one, finding your seat of power. So if you haven't seen this episode already, I, I highly recommend that you look at the postural alignment and finding your seat of power episode. Because for this technique, it's really essential that you have a neutral spine. So I'm just gonna get ready and I'll see you in stage two. Okay, so we found our seat of power, stage two, the technique. So imagine you've got a pane of glass or a mirror in front of you. I'm gonna invite you first to draw the breath in, a deep breath, and then <sighs> sigh. Imagine you're steaming up that pane of glass or the mirror. So let's try that. Breathe in, place your hand in front of you and okay, let's try that one more time. So taking a deep breath in and then this is a great technique just to release any tension that you may be feeling in your muscles. Now I'm gonna invite you to do exactly the same technique but this time you're gonna seal your lips. So when you exhale, the air actually comes through your nose and you'll, find a, you'll feel a slight constriction at the back of your throat. Let's give that a go. Breathing in and then exhale through the nose. Did you feel that? So slight constriction at the back. It almost sounds as though it's the ocean if you tune in a little deeper. Try that one more time. So deep breath in. And then exhale through the nose. Brilliant. Stage three. So now we're going to begin the three part technique for Ujjayi breath. So imagine you're sipping the air through your nose, slowly, almost as though you're mm, drinking your favorite drink. So let's begin. Sip the air through the nose and draw it into your belly. So we're gonna expand the belly with the first breath. At the same time, imagine you're massaging your kidneys. So it's a full expansion of your belly and your lower back. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time to master this technique, but just have patience and allow things to move in their own time. So, sipping the air through the nose and drawing it in to the belly. Really feel the stomach expand. The chest should not be moving. Hold for two and then exhale with the technique that you just learned. So drinking the air through the nose 
and drawing it in to the belly so that this full expansion of the belly. So let's start. Breathing in, directing it into the belly, holding for two, and then exhaling slowly through the nose. Let's try that again, inhale. So just so that you get used to the sound effects and the feeling of the breath, because you're now gonna slow things down. So let's try that again. Take a deep breath in, sipping the air into the belly. Holding for two, and then exhaling completely. So notice how I'm taking my time to exhale really allowing the air to pass through and relax the stomach muscles. Now you may feel a rush of energy to the head. So there may be slight dizziness and you might be thinking, oh, this is feeling a little bit strange or uncomfortable. Don't worry. It's the first time your body is actually feeling the full expansion of um, this technique and also drawing air or oxygenation into the body and the mind. So it's completely normal to feel a little bit dizzy. With more practice, you'll find that these side effects, so to speak, disappear. Okay, next part of the breath. Imagine the ribs are like the gills of a fish. And you know how the gills will open and close. We're gonna create the same scenario or situation or sensation by using the breath. So this time, second breath, we're going to really expand the rib cage outwards. So you feel your armpits moving away. And this is, the movement comes through the breath. And you may find that with this breathing that your armpits have a bit more space, but it's the breath that's creating it. Okay, so let's take our next breath in, and this time we're directing it towards our ribs. So, sipping the air through the nose and directing it to our rib cage. Inhale. Holding for two and slowly exhale. Doesn't that feel wonderful? You may want to use your hands to really allow that expression of breathing. You may want to uh, move your arms as you breathe in and exhale, draw the arms or the hands together. You might find that that helps you. It's a beautiful Tai Chi movement that really helps you engage with the breath and the movement. So let's try that. Inhale. Hold for two and exhale. Are you feeling that sensation in your fingertips? It feels like your fingers are moving through treacle and you may feel a slight tingly sensation. This is all good news. It means that energy is flowing. So let's try that one more time, expanding the ribs. Inhale. Feeling the space between the armpits and the full expansion of the ribs. And exhale. Remember, it's the breath 
that creates the movement. The last part of the breath is your shoulder blades. Imagine the shoulder blades are the wings of an eagle. These are your wings that are gonna set you free. So this time we're going to sip the air in and really move the shoulder blades away from each other. And on an exhale, they're going to fall back. Let's give that a go. So breathing in. Holding for two. And exhale. Notice how the chest is expanding and you're really puffing up that midline between the shoulder blades. Let's try that one more time. So breathing in and really allowing the shoulder blades to move away from each other. How does that feel? Really engage with the feeling that this breathing technique is allowing your body to express. Okay, stage four. This is the part where we're gonna stitch up the breathing technique. So the belly, the ribs, and the wings all together, full body breath. Now, just to let you know, it took me nearly a year to master this technique. So don't expect miracles overnight and practice always makes perfect. I always encourage my clients and my patients to start with perhaps three minutes and then increase by a minute a day until we've mastered that full expansion. So, with one breath, we're now going to expand the belly and the ribs and the shoulder blades. Let's give that a go. The trick is to breathe in and exhale really slowly. Right, let's try that. Sipping the air through the nose, almost as though you're drinking your mm, favorite beverage. Belly, same breath. Ribs, same breath. Wings, hold for two. That's the point of exchange. And now exhale. really allowing the body to move with the exhale and sink into that exhalation of air. One more time, breathing in, full body. So you can probably hear through my breath that it's beginning to sound more like the ocean waves. And one thing my clients have always found very useful is by playing the sounds of the ocean in the background helps you to tune in and regulate the inhale and the exhale. Try not to force the breath and move to your own rhythm. And in time, you'll find your own synchronicity. Okay, so what are the benefits of practicing this technique regularly? Firstly, it helps to slow down the breathing rate. 
And we know that when we're feeling the physiological impact of stress on the body and mind, the first thing that we disconnect with is actually the breath. So this training helps you to root the breathing and in doing so, it prevents the fight, flight and freeze response from taking over the body. So in effect, it's switching off the sympathetic nervous system and, and really placing you into a relaxed space through the parasympathetic activation. And that's done simply through this breathing technique. Now the trick is, or the scientific evidence suggests, that you need to practice it for 20 minutes minimum. Because it takes 20 minutes for you to actually engage in the process and fool the body and mind into thinking it's in a relaxed situation rather than a stressful circumstance. Give it a go. The way that I generally introduce it to my clients and my patients is begin with three to five minutes daily. And this can be practiced anytime, anywhere. So just make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room or you're outside in some fresh air. Once you get into the routine of practice, you'll find that your breathing rate automatically slows down. So instead of 15 to 20 reps a minute, you'll be breathing at half the rate in a much slower pace, but with full body expansion. So now we know why the tortoise lives to be 100 compared to the rabbit that's constantly breathing at a rapid rate. This is also going to really help those who really feel the impact of anxiety on their body mind feel rooted. Now that's quite an alien experience, but I really encourage you to practice daily, increasing from five minutes to a minute extra every day until you achieve the 20 minutes required. And that's when you're gonna feel the full benefit of this breathing technique. So I hope you've enjoyed that technique. Do practice and let me know how you get on. Please comment in the boxes below. And if you found the benefit, please share the love. Thank you for watching.